Hi, hello everyone. This is Mimi and welcome back to my channel. Hey, guess what? It's fall and every fall boots roll out. All kinds of boots, beautiful boots. I love boots. I'm enthusiastic about boots and I need a wide fitting boot. I'm all, I also know that I'm not the only one out there that needs a specific type of wide fitting boot. So this video is going to be all about wide boots, different type types of boot fit that are out there, boot fitting hacks, and places to shop for specific types of wide fitting boots. So please stay tuned if you'd like to know all about this information. I'm not an expert. But these are some really good tips for you so that to help you out in your shopping experience. Boot fits. Yes, there are different types of boot fits. There are three to be specific that I'm going to be talking about. These are wide fits. There are different kinds of wide fits for boots. There is the wide width where the ball of the foot and the toe box is made wider than the average shoe. Then there's wide calf, which means the calf of the boot is wide. And then there's plus size, which means both the ball of the foot and the calf of the foot is wide. All over the shoe is wider. It's meant for a heavier leg, um, a wide foot and a wide calf. It's not exclusive to plus size, a wide fitting foot. Boot is not ex specific to plus size. It's just a different anatomy of your foot. Determines on what kind of width on your leg, depends on which fit you need. The problem is all of these fits get lumped together as wide width when you're shopping online for them because they're really, really hard to find in stores. So if you need a wide calf boot, specifically search wide calf boot. A wide calf boot doesn't necessarily have a wide width across the ball foot. So if you need a wide width boot across the ball of the foot, search wide width and then read the description to make sure that you're actually getting a width that's wide across the ball of the foot and not at the calf because often they again they don't tell you which part is wide so you just have to wing it read the description and then there's plus size and plus size is like i said wide all over wide in the calf wide in the foot they are not the same thing. Shoe, the different retailers online have a habit of lumping them all together and making it very difficult for you to choose the one that you need for you. In my case, I just need a wide width. I don't need a wide calf. But again, they often don't tell you that you're buying a wide calf boot in the wide width shoe section or a wide, um, a plus size, which is wide all over. So it's, it's a bad way of marketing wide with shoes, just assuming that everyone is going to be heavier set in the wide department because it's not true. So all I can say is to help you out with this is read the descriptions. Uh, sometimes descriptions will tell you whether it's wide across the ball of the foot or wide calf. And if in doubt, save your money and just don't buy the shoe. Okay, I actually Googled the term shoe fitting hacks and I found a few. Um, none of them are anything that I would recommend if you have an actual wide fit, team, a wide foot to fit. Um, and a couple of them will actually ruin your shoes. So let's get into these. The first one that I do not recommend is buying a normal width shoe 
one half size larger. This shoe will still not fit you and it will be too long. I just had to put that out there. The second one that I found that I absolutely do not recommend is to take your shoe, fill water bags, Ziploc bags, garbage bags with water, stuff them in your shoes and freeze them. The idea behind this is that the water as it freezes will expand and stretch out your shoes. The problem with this is if it's a leather shoe, it may overstretch it or not stretch it at all. And if it's a polyurethane shoe, polyurethane is plastic and does not stretch. So both of these, it will probably just um, crack your shoe if you try to do this, if you have a polyurethane faux leather shoe. Um, they don't recommend them, don't do this. Another one that I found that I absolutely do not recommend is stretching a shoe with a shoe stretcher and shoe stretching solution. If your shoe is leather, it, it will work, but you could ultimately ruin your shoes with the shoe stretching solution. You can put too much on the leather shoe and absolutely destroy the color, the finish, the quality of the leather, just ruin it. So uh, don't do this at home. You can use a shoe stretcher to stretch a shoe that's a little bit tight, but don't use a solution. Uh, leave the solution in the shoe stretcher on leather shoes to a professional. Go to a cobbler and have that done. If your shoe is polyurethane, it, it won't stretch. It's plastic. At most, you will crack and break the polyurethane because it won't give and doesn't breathe. It, it, it will not work. It will not stretch the shoe. Then um, there are a couple that do work. They have nothing to do with trying to actually stretch the shoe to make it bigger. It's actually to help the shoe fit you better. You can use heel grips on the back of the shoe in a shoe that slips your heel slips out of to make it a snugger fit. And you can use toe fillers. So let's say the shoe is a little long. Um, you can put toe fillers in there and see how that works out. I, I don't recommend any of these except for the heel grips. Uh, if I have to use toe fillers in a shoe, that just means it doesn't fit and I will take it back. But again, if you need to do that, go ahead, do it. And that's all I have to say about shoe fitting hats. Unfortunately, when it comes to shopping for wide width boots and wider fitting boots and boots and shoes in general, there really is no one utopian place where you can find the best styles, the best selection, the best of everything that you want in a boot. In general, it's really hard to find the most stylish shoes in the fit that you need if you're not a medium width. It's, it's just not going to happen. But I will give you some places that I like to shop for wider fitting boots and shoes that have been wonderful resources for me and I hope they help you. And the first couple of places I'm going to mention are have the widest selection of wide fitting shoes with pretty good descriptions. And those are Zappos, 6 p.m and shoes.com. The next place has pretty good shoes. Um, the sizing runs a little wonky, but they are really beautiful selection of wide width shoes and very, very trendy styles. And that is ASOS. Uh, their sizing again can be wonky, but give them a try. You can always return. Um, and then there's one shoe manufacturer whose shoes are, I mean, they're beautiful. They're leather. They're wide across the ball of the foot. They're just stunning. They're expensive. And their shoes are more basic designs, a little updated, more my style. So that is Comfortiva. 
and they're really, really good if you need a wide across the ball fit for your shoes and boots, specifically for boots because they have a really good selection of boots. And then if you need plus size all over, a wide calf, wide across the ball, look at plus size retailers like Lane Bryant, Comfort View, uh, Simply V, and even ASOS. They have a good selection for you at those places. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, tell me how I can improve. And please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Bye-bye.